G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, over the years I've had a, a number of chainsaws. I've had some big mothers and some smaller ones. And the only one that I've really kept right through all those years is this one. The old steel 009L. And this has got to be one of the best chainsaws still or anybody ever made. I mean, this is just a a fantastic little chainsaw. It's an icon really in the steel range and when they did away with the old range that this one was part of prior to the new you know the new models with uh, anti-vibration I'm pretty sure this was the very last one in the old range that they actually stopped um, producing because even right up to the end it was still in demand and it's it's just a nice, compact, really gutsy little unit that gives very little trouble. Anyway, what am I coming to? Well, when I was up the farm uh, last time and I showed you the lamby pie, the little lamb being bottle fed. I was up there working and I was cutting out some uh, trees that had blown over in a big storm up there. And one of them was mallee. It was a, a mallee tree, which is really hard stuff. And... Uh, as you can see, this has got a new bar on it because the old bar that was on it, one of many, uh, had a rather a sad happening. It, uh, it got cooked up on the tip. Uh, when I was finishing the, the job off, I was cutting up the stump and I nosed in on it a few times to try and sort of get into some awkward angles and I, I cooked up the, the nose. It had seized up a couple of times earlier too. It was pretty hard going. So that's the end of that bar, but uh, yeah, it's about half worn, I suppose, which is totally knackered now. But one thing with these I've never had a part is the, the roll of see what's actually in there. I mean, it's probably not much really, but I'm curious just to see what's in there. And I look on the internet to see if there are any videos of people sort of pulling these apart. Nothing, you know, nothing at all. So I thought, all right, I'll try and take it apart and you know, it's either going to be dead boring or it's going to be interesting, but for anybody that's curious to see what's in these things, yeah, hang around. Well look, this video could be a total waste of time, but anyway, I'm going to do it anyway and see what's in this thing. So, I think it's just a matter of knocking these rivets out. So we'll give it a go. Let's see if they come out. Some of these have a, this, one, this one's got three rivets. Some just have a, a one great big central rivet. So I'm presuming in here is just a a gear sort of tooth wheel with some ball bearings and a centre shaft. Anyway, we'll see how it comes up, comes apart if it comes apart. Yeah, hmm. This might be easier said than done, I think. Well, I haven't got a chain breaker, otherwise I'd use that. But anyway, well. Uh huh, something's happening. Yep, she's on the go. One now, two to go. Hmm, certainly well put together. This is an Oregon. I've used steels and Oregon's over the years and I can't see much difference in them really. It would be easy to squash it out with a bolt. Oh, I'll do this for now. One to go. I 
thought for sure there'd be a video on this, but there's nothing. Probably not interesting enough. Anyway, if you're curious like me, let's see what makes these things tick. Okay, the rivets are all out. So now it's a matter of up the bits and all that stuff. I'll do that later. So now it's a matter of pull it apart. I'll do that on the bench. This had a horrendous failure. I mean, she's locked up solid. It's worn all the end of the bar and it's totally stuffed in. Okay. Oh, a little. What's that? Hmm. So they're not they're coming close, you can see. So they're not ball bearings, they're little rollers. See, there's one here. Tinksy wheat's a little, little little roller. So there would have been a whole bunch of them all around here. Got position for four rivets, only use three, and then it had. There's one of those pliers. They had a whole bunch of these little rollers that would have just sat in there. As you can see, there's only what? <laughs> there's only about three left. So she's really gone bad big time, and you can see things have got blew the metal. She's got red hot. So, yeah, I really did a job on this one. I've never, ever done a tip before, ever. And I've used chainsaws a bit over the years. I used to have a big old home light um, 500XL, which was a mother of a thing. And I mean, that was, you know, an old girl. I've had for a long time, no chain break or nothing. And even with that, I've never, ever had a tip seize up on me ever so this was the first one to do this and I think it's just that Mally was so damn hard uh, it really just gave the poor old bar hell so anyway that's it it's not very interesting really <laughs> but that's it that's what's in there so it's little rollers not ball bearings and I mean yeah, greasing or oiling it's probably a good idea if it's got an oiler hole or a grease hole. So, um, all right, that's it. Interesting. See you next time. Cheers.